Khusus Zangpo. Welcome to e-learning project of Bhutan. I'm Duji Dolma from Chimina Primary School under Thimpu Zongkok. And I am Kilibida from Menagang Primary School under Punakha Zongkok. This lesson is mathematical lesson for Key Stage 1, classes PP2-3. Well, children, since you already know numbers from 1 to 1000 in our previous lesson, today we are going to learn a new ways to count numbers from 1 to 1000. Are you ready for the lesson? Great. Here, let's try remembering the numbers 1 to 10 in, from our previous lesson. 1. 1. House. Here, two, two tables. Three, three teddy bears. Four, four flowers. Five, five cars. Six, six pencils. Seven, seven Barbie dolls. Eight, eight books. Nine, nine stars. Can we count these numbers together again, children? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, that's great job. Can you count the numbers once again yourself? Wow, that's great. You did a great job. Now, let's try counting little bigger number in a hundred chart. Okay, let's start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Don't you think it's tiring to count such a large number? Don't you think we need something to count those numbers a little easier? Yes, there are many methods to count the numbers. Let's uh, uh, count just now. Let's count with twos. It is also called as skip counting. And skip counting means it is also like a repeated addition. So let's count in twos. So when we count in twos, remember that when we count, we say, of course, two. Start from two, then three, then four. But when we say three, four, that three should be said silently by yourself and only say aloud the four. The count of twos you say aloud, then the rest of the numbers you have to say it inside your mind. So I'll show with the fingers, but I'll not say the numbers except for the counts of twos. So two, then three, three four. So three you have to say silently. Then six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. So that is the counts of twos. Now let's read the counts of the twos which are highlighted on the chart. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. So this is how we do the counts of twos. Now can you do the counts of twos by yourself till thirty? Yes, that's great. Okay, was it little easier than the counts from one to hundred? Now let's move to one higher number. Can we? Do with the higher number? Yes, let's start with number 3. So in the same way, we will use our fingers, but say rest of the numbers silently except for the counts of 3. So first oh, number is 3. Let's look at the 100 chart. And we will highlight the numbers of counts of 3. So 3, then 6, 9, 12, 15. So now let's read the counts of threes once more. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Now 
Can you read it by yourself? I'll point, you read it by yourself, okay? 15, that was great. Now, there are again many numbers we have to count. So as we move higher, the counting becomes much more easier and faster. Let's try with another number. Did you enjoy counting by twos and threes? That's great. You, you enjoyed a lot. But can we try counting by fives? Let's use our fingers to count by fives. First, let's see how many fingers are there in our hand. One, two, three, four, five. See, five fingers on my right. And let's see how many fingers here. One, two, three, four, five. See, five fingers here and five fingers here makes ten. So counting by five makes easier to count the num larger numbers. See, five, ten. If we have another hand here, it will be fifteen. Next, we have another 5, 20. So 5, 10, 15, 20. Do you get how to count by 5s? Okay, let's try counting on the number grid. Let's, everyone, look here. So let's count the counts of 5. 5, 10, 15, 20. Are you with me? Start counting. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Keep counting till 100. Now, look around your house. You'll see clock on your wall. Do you see the numbers on the clock? You'll see numbers on the clock. When you count the minutes on the clock, count, do the counts of five. Try it yourself. You are doing great. Good. Now, isn't it easier compared to twos and threes? Now, go around. Find some neutron five knots. Okay, now children, can you look here? Okay, how many ten frames are there? Yes, there are two ten frames. Now, in each 10 frames, there are 10 counters. So, 2 10 frame means 10, 20. So, how many? 10, 20. Now, I'll put one more 10 frame. How many 10 frames? Now, 3 10 frames. That means 10, 20, 30. Then, one more 10 frame, 40. So, the counts of 10s goes like this. 10, 20, 30, 40. Now, can you do it by yourself in your notebook? Till 100. I know you can do it. Okay, that's great. Now, let's try with another number. What is the double of 10? Yes, that's 20. How many? 20. Now, let's try to count in 20s by using again 10 frame. So, how many 10 frames there? 2 10 frames. So, 1, 2. That means 10, 20. Now, can you look here? Another two ten frames. Ten, twenty. So that means twenty, thirty, forty. So when we say twenty, the thirty, forty, that thirty should be said silently from your mind. Only forty. The counts of twenties you have to say it aloud. So twenty, forty, then sixty, eighty. 100. So in this way, now we have counted the counts of 20s. Can we read the numbers once more? Yes. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. That's just great. Now, let's move to the 50. Do you think it's too difficult for you to count? No. You think it's a big number, yes? But... It is very easy. It's almost same as 5. So 50, so 5. It is almost same as 5. And then whenever you do the skip counting, I, in the beginning I told you it's like a repeated addition. 
So what you can do, if you know the counts of 5, you will be able to do easily the counts of 50. I will show you how. So for example, first one is 50. Now when we do the counts of second, you just add 50 and 50. That means how many 5s are there? 2 5s. Yes? 5 and 5 is 10. Then at this side how many? 0. So just add 0. So it becomes 100. So that means 50, 100. Then when you add again 50 to 100, it becomes 150. So 50, 100, 150, 200. So can we read the numbers once more? 50, 100, 150, 200. Now I would like you to do the counts of 50 till 500 by yourself. Okay, we have been counting numbers using 2s, 3s, 5s, 10s, 20s, 50s. And now, don't you think that counting a very large number with just these 2s, 3s, 5s, 10s and 20s is a tiring? Let's do by hundreds. Let's try. This is a 100 base 10 blocks. Now, to count a very large number, we are going to use these blocks. See, every block has 100 counts. So, to count till 1000, you can use this one and count easily. One block is 100. If we have two blocks, then it's going to be 200. If we have three more blocks, it's going to be 300. So if I have one more block for you, how do you count this? Good, that's 400. Now check all the blocks and count it yourself. Good, you are doing good. See. Now, when we put this 100 blocks 10 times, what number does it give? Wow, good. That's great. You are doing great. It's 1,000. It's 1,000. Now, if you want to count more than 1,000, there's another 1,000 base 10 blocks. We are going to use this 1,000 base 10 blocks when we are doing counts of thousands. Check this. That's great. Counting by thousands, I'm leaving it for you as your work. Well, we have been doing great job together by counting twos, threes, fives, tens, twenties, fifties, hundreds, and thousands. Now, I am giving you some work. Just look around your house and find things which you can count in twos, threes, fives, tens, twenties, fifties, hundreds, and thousands. Awesome! You are doing good. Till then, bye-bye, and let's see you again in our next lesson.